Hey guys, way back rewind here. In a previous video, I showed how you could take an old analog TV, convert it to digital, and even a camcorder and convert it to a smart TV. But a few folks said it wasn't really portable because the whole setup was too bulky. Even though I said you could use shorter wires and optimize it, some folks lacked imagination. So therefore, I'm going to demonstrate it in this video. Coming up next, here on Wayback Rewind. So you might wonder, why make a camcorder into a smart TV in the first place? Well, this is going to create a device that, in my opinion, doesn't exist anywhere in the market. So I was successful in converting my camcorder into a smart TV and even a regular TV picking up over-the-air broadcast. But some people couldn't get past all of the bulky wires, and therefore, I'm going to repeat this experiment and optimize it to minimize the number of wires. But first, I am going to revisit my Wayback Rewind number 71, how to make free portable digital TV. In this video, I was successful in converting both of my Casio handheld portable TVs into free over-the-air TVs, but several of my viewers took issue with the amount of bulk with this digital converter that I use and these wires and plugging them in required all of this bulk and they said, well, your TV really isn't portable anymore. So I'm going to repeat it, but with a different converter, a different power supply, and I won't need the DC to DC converter. And the wires are going to be much shorter. And I'm going to show you how I do have a truly portable TV. Okay, let's get started. So in a previous video, I converted all three of these TVs into smart TVs and digital TVs. So I'm not breaking any new ground here, but what's going to be different is that I am going to optimize this to be as small and portable as possible. So among these three TVs, I am going to pick the Casio TV 900, mainly because it has an audio video port, which allows me to connect to it with the minimum amount of equipment. Not that I couldn't use the other two, but this one will be easier and easier to optimize. And what part is going to be different? I'm gonna show you. So in the previous video, I used my government converter. It's a little bit on the bulky side. This is the converter box that I used in my previous example. It required me to use a large battery pack with a DC to DC converter, and it has these plugs on the back. So I'm not gonna use this. I'm gonna use a brand new one. This one is smaller. It can be powered off five volts of USB and I'll be able to optimize the size of my connections. And I'll show you in a minute exactly how I'm gonna do that. The other difference, the other video, I used a power brick similar to this with multiple outputs, but this is rather large. So instead of that, I'm going to optimize it with a smaller power bank. As far as wires, my viewers complained about the bulkiness of the wires. In the previous video, I used a cable like this with the tip ring sleeve, 3.5 millimeter, and the gender changers to plug into that converter box. So I'm not gonna use that. I'm going to use something far less bulky. I'm gonna go tip ring sleeve to tip ring sleeve, and it's gonna be much smaller. And finally, even though this box is powered by USB and it comes with a USB cable, I don't need a DC to DC converter, but even this cable is too long for my optimization. So I'm gonna go with a much shorter cable. So one more thing, in the other video, I used an antenna that I made out of a wire hanger. In this example, I'm gonna use an antenna that is more optimized for this design and much smaller and compact. All right, so now let's get started. Okay, on to act three. Shadow, 
This is all I need to convert this analog TV into a free over the air digital TV. So in terms of cabling, this unit comes with a tip ring sleeve to RCA and in the past I would have had to use these gender changers and this other cable that goes from RCA back to tip ring sleeve. And you think, why can't I just use tip ring sleeve to tip ring sleeve? And I thought I wasn't going to be able to do that because I bought a tip ring sleeve to tip ring sleeve and unfortunately there is no universal agreed to standard of what these rings mean. So they don't always work. Sometimes you get lucky, sometimes you don't. Of course, Sony uses a different standard from everyone else. Casio, who knows? But this cable will not work. This is too bulky. I have a third option. I have two connectors of 3.5 to RCA, and, it, and one side is male, the other side is female. I can mate these two together. The tip ring sleeves don't match up. I can mix and match until I get a combination that works, but either way, this is going to be a lot less bulky than this. Right here is all I need to convert this TV into a free over-the-air digital TV. a brand new unit hasn't been installed I'll have to scan for channels now it's just scanning And there you have it. The Casio is now a live, free over the air live TV. To complete the payoff, however, I can show you that this is 100% portable, being run off batteries. The Casio has its own internal batteries. Power bank is running the TV tuner. Complete the payoff. I'm gonna mount everything together and make it totally portable. And Simone Biles won another goal. Thank you so much for joining us tonight for KBRC2 News. <laughs> chances as we head into the rest of your weekend air conditioning problems call abacus you can get free so there you have it lifetime warranties on select linux mounted everything up now, save up to five thousand dollars it's not as slim and compact as it would be back in the analog days but it is 100 percent handheld portable optimized if i could find a tip ring sleeve cable that worked it would be even less bulky but the one that i tried didn't work but I have something here that I can hold in my hands and watch free over the air live TV, no problem. One pound, four ounces. For those of you outside of the United States, that's 20 ounces. How many grams that is? I have no idea. 574 grams. Compared to the GRC7U, which probably claims to only weigh 2.9 pounds, I would say this one pound, four ounce device 
is 100% portable. Four pounds, three ounces. So ladies and gentlemen, in the previous video, I converted this camcorder into a smart TV. It is 100% a smart TV, but this one really did not impress anyone in terms of its portability, despite the fact that I'm showing you it is 100% portable. I can carry it in one hand, but it does weigh over four pounds. I don't know how many grams that is. You can do the math, but it is definitely bulky. So what I'm going to do is optimize this setup. And how am I gonna do that? Well, in this particular example, I'm gonna optimize it by choosing a different camera. I chose this camera just because it's one of my favorite cameras. It is definitely not the most compact camera in my collection. You can see here in the background, I have a whole slew of compact Sony camcorders. Almost all of these cameras, if not every one of them, at one time was the world's smallest camcorder. I could go with the PC55. I could go with the IP7. But you know what? I'm going to go with the PC5. And the PC5, in terms of optimization, has a couple of features that I like that will make this easier to optimize. Number one, it has a standard coal shoe, so I can add a top handle. It'll give me the real estate to mount all of these attachments. So I, don't, I won't need to add a side handle and, and all of that bulk. The other thing that the PC5 has is it has a tip ring sleeve audio video, but at least I can mix and match my cables to, to end up with something much smaller than what I have over here. And then I will be able to turn this into a smart TV. So I salvaged this from my previous setup. I have the Amazon Fire Stick and the HDMI to AV converter, the short cable that will plug into 3.5 millimeter tip ring ring sleeve. Hopefully it's the right polarity. Hopefully all the rings line up. Two USB powers, one short cable. Unfortunately, this one uses super old school USB. I don't have a short version, so I'm gonna have to live with that. But this is all you need to turn anything into a smart TV. I'm gonna hook this up to my camcorder, my DCR PC5. For those of you that are gonna say, yeah, but you didn't turn the TV into a smart TV and you didn't turn the camcorder into a TV, basically, it can be either one. It's just as easy to hook up this as it is to hook up that, hook up that, hook up this. You can have free over there TV, smart TV, it's your choice. Do either one. I'm gonna leave that up to the reader to imagine that I did both variations, but to save time, make this video more compact, I'm only gonna convert this camcorder into a smart TV. Step one, I'm gonna add some real estate. I picked this camera because it has a cold shoe. Cold shoe makes my life a lot easier. I'm gonna install the top handle from small rig. Tighten it up. I've already pre-installed some attachments here that will make this easier to install items onto. I've got my battery from before. Oh, I've got some cable management issues here. I'm trying to get everything mounted up so that everything will reach. Let's see if we can do this. I'm gonna put this here. So that will reach down here. I'm gonna put my battery up here. Power this up, see what we got. Now we have the Amazon Fire Stick powered up and running on this camera. It's complaining about the remote. I don't know why. The remote is working. I ran into a little bit of a problem, a wee bit of a problem with my cable optimization. 
I thought I could get away with using a smaller USB cable, but the fire stick kept restarting. And just like they tell you in the instruction manual, I had to go back and use the cable that was supplied by it. My cable optimization didn't work out as well as I had hoped. These two long USB power cables, given time, I could probably find shorter, more optimized versions. But my AV, small AV cable is working. It took some finessing to get the Sony to play nice with it. So what I have here now is a completely portable smart TV camcorder. I could record off the smart TV. If I see a program on there I like, I can record it. I've got this power supply up here running the Fire Stick and the HDMI to AV converter. Camcorder is running off its own internal battery. You never want to give up. I did find a shorter USB cable that would run the fire stick without crashing. So my optimized setup is a little more optimized. Not so much bulk. Let's put this on the scale. Might even come in under a kilogram. Two pounds, three ounces, 0.988 kilograms. Less than a kilogram. This is definitely more optimized than the setup I had before. I'm sure if I look around, I could find a shorter, super old school USB power cable, make it even lighter still, but less than a kilogram, a smart TV. And so there you have it an optimized camcorder to smart TV setup that weighs less than a kilogram. A small rig top handle, neaten things up considerably. I can still hold this by the standard grip, no problem. Everything is mounted securely. Minimum of wires, except for that old school USB cable, which kind of caught me off guard. Thought I could use a regular USB cable and that wasn't going to happen. Here we are. So there you have it. The optimized camcorder to smart TV. It weighs less than a kilogram. The minimum of wires. If you found this interesting, please like or subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching.